to make sure our equipment is working properly, I'm just going to need to take your pulse. This researcher is measuring the stress that a person experiences when confronted and touched by a stranger of the same or another race. Scott Vrena and David Rollick are the Purdue University psychologists who designed and ran the study. Electrodes were attached to each subject in order to detect stress. Next, a technician came into the room. Hello, Joe. My name is Troy. I'm helping Andrew. With this person the was always the same gender as the subject, but not always the same race. The study found quantifiable differences in how people respond to strangers of a different race. The most notable finding concerned reactions to African American men. While black males showed a slight increase in stress when meeting a black stranger, white males had a more exaggerated response. When a white male was the subject and they encountered a black male, heart rate went up when the person walked in the room, but it went up even more than for other combinations. And then when they were touched by that person, heart rate continued going up. And so overall, heart rate for white males encountering a black male went up over 10 beats a minute. One thing the Purdue study shows is that race means something very real to most people. Race is significant. It's salient. People notice it. There's been a lot of talk uh, uh, in recent decades about colorblindness. Regardless of the merits of that, it's simply not true. People notice it. Not only do people notice race, but they attach ideas to it, ideas about how people behave. 